Hey folks, for the simple thing from CG Virus here, today we're going to see how to texture pack our PBR textures in Krita. And we're going to use it in Godot uh, for demonstration. So let's get it started. Alright, first thing is basically what is texture packing. Well, if we see a PNG file, a normal PNG file, you will see that it has four channels, right? R, G, RGB, and Alpha. So if I go to uh, PBR texturing workflow, what you'll see is basically only the albedo will have RGB value, that is, you know, three channel, and uh, the emission will have RGB values, three channel, and normal, normal map, it will have RGB channel, okay? Other uh, channels, uh, other, other textures are basically grayscale values, right? So this is the roughness. So it's a black and white and grayscale value. And this is the metallic and everything, you know. Every uh, ash, every gray uh, button are basically a uh, value, okay? Uh, it's a value image, you know, grayscale value image, black and white value image. So basically what we can do is basically we can pack these images, black and white images into different layers of a PNG file. By that, it will be minimized to one image, okay? So you can see, this is the ARM PNG. It looks like messy, but if I separate it with a separate color, you will see ARM, that means ambient occlusion, roughness, and metallic, okay? So the red will have ambient occlusion. You can see this one and this AO are same, okay? So then we have green, that is roughness, okay? So this one and this roughness image is basically same. And uh, this is the metallic M. So the metallic is same, all right? So we are packing three images into one. You can, uh, we can use uh, actually four images into one. Uh, so the alpha will have another image if you want to. But in the scenario, we are just using, you know, simple three image. So it could be a JPEG image as well, no problem. So uh, let's see how to pack this thing. So before going further, uh, why we should use this kind of packaging system? Uh, it is just because, you know, saving memory space, texture memory space for games. So it is uh, very common. So let's get started now. So we have our textures, big textures. So this is the albedo AO and everything. So we're going to pack uh, one by one. So let's just, you know, pack it with, um, you know, just to initiate this is the albedo we have there. Here we go. So now I'm just going to pack our AO first. Let's go for AO inside as new layer. So this will be the AO. And then we have uh, roughness. and we have metallic. So I'm going to use ARM system. If you want to use other systems, you can use it. ARM means ambient occlusion, roughness, and metallic. So if you want to use other uh, formulas, you can use it. So ARM, let's uh, delete this background, we don't need it. Uh, before everything else, what you need to do is basically go to the image properties, make sure it is image color space is RGB alpha and not in grayscale or something else okay rgb alpha we will need it so first thing first what i'm going to do is basically sort it out ao and uh, go to this here okay channel and go to the miscellaneous misc uh, misc and uh, we have copy blue copy green and copy red let's check these three because it will become uh, in our favorite okay so now let's go here and uh, ARM that is copyright ambient occlusion will be in red channel then it will be roughness so I'm going to RG so this is copy green okay red green and this is the blue so this is blue copy blue all right so it is done now let's press everything and press Ctrl G to group it. Okay. 
so now if i go to the channel you can see this red channel has this green and blue okay now if i want to use alpha we don't have any alpha here but uh, suppose we have an alpha so let me go to a sample here uh, suppose uh, other things like ambient occlusion okay uh, okay okay let's assume that uh, it is it is from other uh, other projects so suppose let's assume <coughs> this ambient occlusion i want to you know uh, uh, use it as uh, alpha texture okay how can we use it all right so uh, to use it what we need to do is basically go to the new and add a paint layer here okay let's disable this and then um go to this fill tool here and press control back or control shift back whatever you want to control back so it will fill it up with this white image here right now i'm just going to here right click and uh, convert to transparency mask okay now um actually set it here okay drag it here and uh, now this will become your alpha channel okay so now if i enable all of those it will be like this okay this is the blue this is the green this is the red and this is the alpha all right so alpha has ambient occlusion so if you want to use alpha channel for that uh, you can use it like that and what you can do is basically you know check these three alpha lock okay alpha override now you can save it just you know go to shift s and uh, you know uh, whatever the name is and png file but we're not going to use transparency layer here so let's do it like this and uncheck those okay so the alpha is black all right so now <coughs> we cannot see anything right uh, no problem just go to control shift s and uh, go to these uh here and i'm just going to name it a r m gun okay let's png save it okay done so now let's go to ghetto all right before going to ghetto uh i want to export these as gltf so i'm just going to select it uh and you can see that we have basically two material here okay one is for uh these whole uh you know whole thing uh if i select it you can see this whole uh gun and other one is for lens only so if you want to see uh, how to work with transparency uh, you know glass materials uh, you can see uh my tutorial on it uh, the link will be in the description as well anyway so this is a glass material so we're going to use a lens uh separate material and a gun as other material so let's export it so go to file and uh, export as gltf i'm going to export it in our gltf folder yeah here we go gun final and uh, operator preset restore everything we're going to use gltf glb uh, include selected object yep and uh, geometry material images i'm going to for none because i want to you know make a placeholder here and uh, material export yep okay let's export it here we go all right now let's import everything here and uh, let's import it from let me see okay so we have the glt file so let's import it here and we have the texture file so let me show you that yep so let me just import this game texture here there you go and let's import it all right so the game textures are there albedo arm gun emission normal and this is the gltf uh, we already have the materials so what i can do is basically go to the import preset import objects plus material and re-import it there we go so we have the object here so let's go to uh, 3d scene basic scene and uh, let's import it here there we go and uh, let's go to the 
transform and here we go f okay so things are all right so now let's start working so if we go to the gun material now these are the gun materials so let's export everything uh, the albedo here so albedo is this there we go okay now let's go to the metallic and uh, arm we have the arm so let's close it here okay so this is the arm so metallic should be one and uh, uh, go to the roughness i'm just going to drag this oh sorry let me sh show the main thing first so uh, go to the metallic arm so m is basically rgb so this is this should be the test channel of blue okay yeah there we go okay now it is all right now let's go to the roughness the arm again and uh, this time it will be rg okay so green this is the roughness uh emission yep enable it emission here we go empty touch slot and uh here we go and normal enable and this is the normal okay so normal and we have m meter position so let's enable it and uh, this will be the arm here and uh, the test channel should be red by default so light effect one there you go you can see your arm here okay so that's how it easy it is so if i go to the uh environment default environment if i enable um glow it is already enabled so you can see everything here okay oh the lens let's go to the lens uh go to the albedo and uh yeah everything is fine just alpha should be semi-transparent and uh, refraction should be on there we go something like this and uh, we can scale the hell out of it if you want to so probably something like this right or actually let's go for one there you go you're gonna adjust it by yourself no problem okay so that's it that's how we can work with it okay so now let's see how to work with it in visual shadow all right to work with uh, visual shadow what we can do is basically select this and you will find a material slot here so what we can do is basically let's create a visual shadow that is visual ah okay let's go for shadow there you go visual shadow i'm going to create a visual shadow here and I'm going to save it. Oops, uh, save it as new visual shadow. Okay, let's save it like this. So this new visual shadow. So let's select this and uh, transform this new visual shadow to here. Okay, here we go. So uh, let's start working. Simple, very simple, and uh, actually everything is pretty much same here so let's go to the gum texture this is the albedo we can use it as color and uh, rgb to albedo and then we have arm gun let's import it here and uh, uh, this should be data okay data by the way i forgot when you're using an arm gun here you should um detect srgb and uh detect disable okay disable very important it is important because um 
this ERM is basically not an sRGB parameter. Uh, whenever we back our grayscale values, we should always use non-color data. So this is a non-color data, okay? And this is a data. Okay, now what we can do is basically go for a decompose node, decompose, vector decompose, connect it to the RGB, and uh, let's see, ARM, right? So metallic is ambient occlusion, so let's turn it on here, okay? A, R, that is roughness, uh, uh, roughness, oops, sorry, there we go. And this is the ARM that is metallic is Z. There we go. All done. All right. And what else? Normal. Let's go for normal. This is the normal map. And uh, this is also a normal map. So here we go. And uh, normal map. Here we go. Okay. And uh, what else? Emission emission I think we don't have emission here yeah we need to do it later so oh yeah we have emission actually so here we go emission this is the color data and let's connect it to the RGB Emission. Yeah. Right. Done. There you go. Simple. Right. So that's it. I'm Father Simple from CG Virus, and we're going to see you next time. Bye bye.